Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel and here we are. I am going to make the spicy candied nuts. You know the the like spicy sweet and hot kind of you can use almonds or walnuts or pecans and they make them like at the holidays generally is the, when you get them. But I love those things, but they're super sugary and I want to cut back on sugar. So I found a recipe. I've been using Splenda more often and I found a recipe using this Splenda brown sugar blend, which apparently is like half brown sugar and half Splenda. So it's, um, it's better for, I mean, it's not as much sugar for you. It's got the ingredients are sugar molasses, um, and then Splenda. So so, I think I'm going to use that, and I'm going to use their recipe for spicy candied nuts. And here's what the ingredients are that I will need. So, obviously, it says to use walnuts and almonds, but I have this, and it says about a half a pound of walnuts and a half a pound of almonds. But this is a two-pound bag of pecans. It's about half full. You know how I measure, kind of with my eyes. And so, I'm going to use this pound <laughs> of pecans. Okay, because I like pecans. But now the other ingredients it has is a large egg white, which I have here, and then a tablespoon of water, which I have here, and then the nuts, and then a quarter of a cup of the Splenda brown sugar blend, so I'm going to use that, and then a tablespoon of ground cinnamon, a teaspoon of ground ginger, a teaspoon of salt, which I'll have to get over there, um, and a half a teaspoon of ground coriander and a half a quarter teaspoon of ground allspice and then a pinch of cayenne and i have my little pinch measuring spoons this is a smidgen a dash and a pinch um and i will have there's a link to those people ask me when i use these that they want to know so there's a link so basically i've got my oven heated to 250 and in in a bowl let me use my pyrex mixing measuring thing here so I'm gonna use that and then it says basically I'm going to whisk the egg white and water until foamy I'm gonna use my blender for that not a whisk um, and then you just add the nuts toss them and then in a large zip top plastic bag it has you combine all of these other uh, spices and sugar and then you put it in there half of it in there and mix it and then half of it and mix it but I don't have a big bag <laughs> So I'm going to do the nuts in one of these, and then I'm going to put them in the other one and mix them around, because I have two of these uh, these Pyrex dishes. So let me get everything set up with the water and the egg in here, and then I'll be right back. Okay, there goes the egg white, and then the water. So I'm going to whip this up until it's foamy. that's good now I'm going to put about half of these in there but what I'm going to do is in this one here actually I think I'd probably be fine just putting them in there and mixing them around I'm just going to do it sort of with the recipe and sort of my way because you know that's how I do it oh there's still another nut in there there we go okay now you just want the nuts to be all coated with this so that the spices stick to them and then we're going to put them on the cookie sheet. Let me see what it says. And they're going to go at 250 for about 45 minutes. Every 15 minutes, we're going to um, come and stir them around. So see how those are getting coated with that egg white? This is what's going to make it all stick to it. Okay. Actually, you know what I might do is just mix these in a thing and kind of sprinkle them on here as I mix it around. That's what I'm going to do. It keeps from having to wash a dish. Hang tight. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. All right, there's all my spices. My little dash of cayenne, give it a little heat. And then I'm going to take this Splenda. Let me just kind of mix that around in there. I think this will work. Yeah, it will. Look at that. Why why make that extra mess? This is going to be good. And I want to see how these turn out. Because I do love these 
spice nuts at the holidays and New Year's. But if this is easy to make, let's cut back on some of the sugar. Good thing for diabetic folks. That's the thing that's hard. At the holidays, everything's so sugar-laden that it's hard to give a gift to someone who's diabetic or something unless you make a, an effort for these. Okay, so this, I'm going to get a little fork and kind of make sure that that's mixed up nicely, all my little spices. There we go. Okay. I think that will be good. A lot of cinnamon, and that's a nice thing. I love cinnamon. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to sprinkle some of it on there. Mix it up. Oops. It smells good. And then I'm just going to pour it out on that parchment baking sheet. There we go. Well, why didn't we just do it this way instead of having the bag and everything? I don't see why this is a problem. Huh. And of course, I suspect you can adjust the spices. And if this works out well with the, the you know, the sweet, the Splenda blend, um, I will look up other recipes that have maybe a different flair to them. I'm sure there's all these different kinds. Okay. Go. Ah, I hit the quick button. Okay, I'm going to kind of mix these around as I put them out. There we go. Now I'm just going to lay these out on the pan like this. And I've got the oven heated, so I'm going to let them go for about 45 minutes. And I'm going to come and mix them around every 15 minutes. So when they're done and then they're cooled, I'll bring you back. I might give you an update. About halfway through, I'll show you what they're like about halfway through. But I want to make sure they're kind of not all clumping up. So I'm going to get them laid out nice and even. And that looks good. Okay. So there you have it. Let's give it a try. I'm going to put them in the oven and I'll come back to you when they're done. Okay, here's the first um, stir. So they've been in 15 minutes. So I'm going to mix them around and I'll put them back and I'm going to do this three more times because I'm going to do it at 30 minutes, at 45 minutes, and then we'll check it out and might go in a little bit more. Depends on how they turn out. But there you go. I'm excited about these. All right. These smell fabulous and I have to tell you there was a little tiny piece like that and I tried them and I like it. Oh, they're so good. Look at, look at the other hand. They're hot. Mm -hmm. You like? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? So these are going to cool off, and then you've got this little snack. I do love the fact that they have half the sugar, um, more diabetic friendly. Because um, I'm not diabetic. Brian's not diabetic either. But, you know, it just seems the older you get, the more people you got to give gifts to who are diabetic. So... There you go. And if you are diabetic, give this a try because I think it's, uh, I think they're good, huh? Yep. Yeah, I like them. So I'm going to let them cool down. And so there you have it. I hope you guys give this a try. And I'm going to go on the old Splenda website and see what other recipes I can find because I am enjoying cooking with less sugar and still being able to have some good, good little treats. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.